What's going on everybody? I'm hanging out here in the garage. Um, have the boat pulled outside. You might be able to see it there. Um, um, in this video, I want to kind of do a little run through of the boat. Talk about um, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Um, some of the features and kind of how I organize the boat. Um, I know there's a lot of videos on the internet. Um, kind of walking through and showing compartments on this boat. Um, but I also wanted to kind of just talk about how I organized it as well. Um, so the boat itself is a um, 2022 Tracker um, Pro Team 175 TXW Tournament Edition. So the boat itself is a uh, 17 and a half foot boat. Um, this is the 175 edition. Um, I also got the upgraded tournament package, the tournament edition. That comes standard um, with a 70 pound Minn Kota Maxim. Um, this is a 24 volt trolling motor. Um, at the back of the boat, um, it has a 60 horse Mercury on it. Um, the 60 horse Mercury um, on this boat, I've had it at a top speed of 30, 35, 36 miles per hour on average with all the tackle in it, full tank of gas and everything. I usually get between 20 or 32 and 33 miles per hour out of it, which is plenty for the lakes that I have around me. I'm typically not fishing lakes no more than about 3,000 acres. So um, this boat with this size motor, the trolling motor, does a really good job for the lakes that I fish. One of the major upgrades to the trailer and the, and the boat itself and trailering it that I did was I added these boat buckles. Um, the way that the boat is, the trailer is designed, um, I had to put mount the boat buckles on backwards um, just because of how the uh, mount itself is angled. There wasn't enough room in here for the buckle to set without hitting the light and the, the frame of the trailer. Um, but with the buckles on backwards, they work really well. Um, really enjoyed that. That's one of my favorite upgrades I've made to the boat so far. Another thing that comes standard with the tournament package is this step right here on the front um, with the handle. Makes getting up into the boat really nice, especially when you're like trailering it and then um, taking it off the trailer when you're getting ready to go out fishing for the Another upgrade you get with the tournament edition um, is the spare tire that's mounted underneath the boat on the trailer. It's kind of nice. It's out of the way. Um, easy to get to if needed. Um, I thought it was interesting that this wasn't included in the standard package, but this is a upgrade you get with the tournament edition pack. Starting at the back of the boat, we'll start with the back deck and then we'll walk through each compartment and kind of talk about what I keep in there. Um, the back deck itself is good size, um, perfect size for if you have a co-angler or someone fishing with you. Um, in this very back compartment is where the gas tank and the batteries are. Um, it's the main hardware of the boat, um, kind of keeps everything going. Um, in the compartment to the on the left side of the boat, I have my ropes, tie downs, um, and just some general safety equipment. On the other side, I have a um, couple tools. Um, I have a crescent wrench, um, but mostly this is my storage for my tournament stuff. I have my weigh in bag. Um, I have some extra straps for the back of the boat. Those are the ones that come factory with it. I have call tags, um, G-Juice for when I'm fishing tournaments to help um, keep fish alive in the live well. Um, just general stuff that you might need for a tournament. Um, and the last compartment on the back deck is the live well. The live well has the divider in it. Um, overall, it's not bad size, especially for a 17 foot boat. In the center, part of the boat we've got three seats going across um, there's storage underneath the center seat the center seat you can also um, pull the cushion off and use that as a step um, I wish one of the things I wish in this boat it had um, storage under all three seats but there's only storage under the center seat um, under the center seat um, is where your battery charger is um, your fire extinguisher, your seat post for the seats if you fish with those. Um, in here, I keep my sunglasses, um, some sunscreen. I keep um, my registration, insurance information in a watertight box. Also keep some towels just in case. Um, 
one of the downfalls about this boat one of the things that i'm not a huge fan of these um seat posts are actually held in place by these slick little plastic ear looking things um literally when i went to pick my boat up brand new um these things are made so cheap that the the ears broke off of both of my seat posts they still have one holding each of them in um but overall that's one of the negatives not a huge deal breaker or anything as far as the boat goes but that's just one thing that i thought was um i guess could have been made better um sitting in the driver's seat now um you have all your gauges and stuff going across the dash um there's a spot where you can lock your phone in place if you're running um it has over here on the right side it has a 12 volt um, charger for like cell phones gopro stuff like that has all of your um live well stuff to run live wells aerate and fill on the other side is where your key goes in it's where your bilge pump is and your navigation lights are um and this boat comes standard with a lawrence hook reveal 5 um this graph back here by the console has down down scan side scan 2d sonar um, and GPS mapping with contour lines on the map. And the last compartment down here on the center um, is this step right here. This is actually a cooler. Um, it's pretty deep. I can fit um, a really big bag of ice in there. I think the 22 pound bags fit in there nicely with drinks. Um, it doesn't hold ice the best as it's just basically a metal box in there, um, but it serves the purpose. I On really hot days, um, it'll hold ice water till noon or one o'clock if you start early in the morning overall um really like it um uh, my favorite part of this boat um is the front deck which is ultimately one of the reasons why i decided on the tracker versus some of the other boats on the market um, my favorite part is it has two rod lockers this over here is a rod locker this over here is a rod locker each of those lockers hold um i believe eight rods I think I have them stuffed clear full. Um, and then there's the center compartment here is absolutely massive. That's your tackle storage. Um, so we'll go ahead and start in the center, kind of how I have it organized. So in here, I have all of my tackle. Um, as you can see, I have my net in there as well. Um, this compartment goes clear up to the front, almost to where the trolling motor pedal is at. I have my life jacket stuffed in there, my anchor, my throwable. Um, a lot of the mandated safety equipment and as you can see i just have it loaded down with tackle inside the left rod locker um i have eight rods in here these are my go-to rods probably the rods that i use the most just because without having the console here these are the easiest to get in and out um one thing i don't care for particularly about these rod lockers is they have the rod tubes up in there um, that you slide your rods up into i find those tubes kind of make it hard to get your rods in and out um but overall i'm satisfied with the amount of storage because these like i said these lockers hold eight rods each inside my right rod locker um these are where i keep most mostly my spinning rods they're kind of buried down in there as so i don't like to fish spinning combos that much um i also keep my wife's combos in here she's got a couple in here um one of the reasons why i keep my rods in here um, that i don't use as much as these rods are kind of difficult to get in and out as i mentioned in the other um, rod locker it has the tubes as well and you have to when you get these rods out you kind of have to bring them up over the console to get them out which makes it kind of difficult to get stuff in and out of this locker so i try not to put combos that i use in here a whole lot um, just because it's harder to get them in on the front deck of the boat um there it comes standard with this one rod strap i went ahead and i added a second one on this side um it also has the uh, recessed trolling motor pedal with uh, two cup holders has another lawrence hook reveal five this one has um down scan 2d sonar and the graphing feature as well with the mapping and the contour lines and all that one of my least favorite parts of this front deck of this boat is um, this side with the console um, as you can see um, i have a rod laying here this is my crankbait combo it's a seven foot medium action rod 
as you can see I have a touching clear up here and then if you come back along here um, the seven foot rods um, barely fit um, it's kind of hard to see here with the lighting um, but the tip of that rod kind of goes back in that little crack right there um, so typically if you have shorter rods i try to lay them on this side which is why i added the second rod strap on this side the longer rods can kind of hang over into the center compartment here um, overall that's just one of the major downfalls that i've noticed with this boat i'm just not a huge fan of um, so that's just kind of a general overview of the boat um come kind of my thoughts on it um i get asked a lot of the time why did i decide out of all of the aluminum boats to go with a tracker um i think i talked about some of the things that i liked about it um the biggest selling point for me was the dual rod lockers i know a lot of the aluminum boats um on the market today have like a center rod storage and um to me that was a that was a huge uh, negative just because um, if you have a center rod storage a lot of your tackle storage gets uh, laid along the side and then if you are fishing with a lot of different tackle and especially soft plastics and Texas rigs that you might go through a lot of during the day you're constantly having to move your rods in order to get into those soft plastic containers um, so having the dual rod storage with the center um, tackle storage was a huge um, a positive in my book um, another reason why I decided to go with the tracker was just because it had a lot of um, storage in general tackle storage especially um, like all fishermen I just love having a lot of tackle love having a lot of rods and reels um, and this one um, suited my needs the best um, for what I was looking for in an aluminum boat